Heidi Brooke from Seattle did everything she was told during her pregnancy. Unfortunately, that did not include getting a booster shot against whooping cough. She caught the disease and passed it to her two-week-old daughter, Caroline. My heart just sank and I just, I said, oh my gosh, you know, it was me. And I had inadvertently given my, my newborn a potentially fatal disease. I, it was a horrible feeling. Caroline recovered after a month in the hospital, but it was touch and go. How's everyone at home? Dr. Wendy Sue Swanson is a pediatrician at the Everett Clinic in Mill Creek, Washington. Her county has seen 264 cases so far. That's more than the entire state had last year at this time. Newborns and infants in particular are at highest risk for complications. They can have a serious life-threatening pneumonia. They can have pauses or cessation in their breathing or they stop breathing. 82% of cases have been in children under age 18. All four fatalities in the state this year were infants. Children get their first three doses of whooping cough vaccine at two, four, and six months. According to the Centers for Disease Control, 95% of kids in the U.S. get those first vaccinations. But immunity wears off over time. The CDC says adults need one booster shot after the age of 18. But today, only 8% of adults get that recommended booster. Washington Secretary of Health Mary Selecki is urging people to get immunized. This is about taking care of yourself, your family, but also your community. As a parent, you, you don't want to go through this. And having this booster shot available to us, it just seems like a no-brainer to me. Just go and get it. Last year, the CDC began recommending that pregnant women be vaccinated against whooping cough for two reasons. To protect mothers like Heidi Brook, and because protective antibodies pass from mother to child before birth and can help shield newborns before they're old enough to be vaccinated themselves. Thank you, doctor.